Hello. Hello, everyone. How are you? Oh, good. How are you? Let's start our class. Okay, we have got new people today. Alina, Steve, Zen. So, how are you guys? Okay, let's sit in any comfortable pose. And then close your eyes. Just roll your shoulders back, open up your chest. And make any mudra that you prefer for yourself. We will chant three times on together. Take a deep breath in. Join your hands together in front of your heart center and then go your head down to the top and then open your eyes while blinking. Namaste to everyone. Okay, so let's begin by sitting. As you inhale, take your hands up over the head, all the way high. Now interlock your fingers, turn your palms high, reach your spine out. As you inhale, pull your abdomen in. And then exhale, left foot down to the right side. Drop your right hand on the floor. Take your left hand up over the knee. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale on the other side, drop your left hand down. Reach your right hand up over the ear. Rotate your right arm over the ear, outward. And then inhale back to the center. Both hands up high in the air. Exhale on the other side again. Lower down, the right hand. Take your left hand high. Keep it stretching out. So you can, from here, you can twist your spine. Look in front, up towards the ceiling for three, two, and one in hold, back in center. Exhale on the other side, left hand down, right arm up over the ear. And then again, twist back. Look up high for two, two, and one. Inhale, back to the center again. And then lock your finger, turn your palm side. Stretch your spine, lend your your spine towards the ceiling. Pull your abdomen in, exhale, completely bend forward. Press your hands on the floor and then drop your head down. Keep walking your hands forward. Rotate your arms outward. And again, walk your hands back. Then press your hands beside of your hips. Roll your shoulders back. Look up high, make an arch in your back. Reach you up and then exhale. Now hug yourself, cross your hands, grab your alternate scapula with your both hands, 
Drop your head down. Inhale. Reach your both elbows up without losing that grip from the scapula. Exhale. Again, drop your head down. Inhale. Again, reach your hands up. And then exhale. Again, drop your head down. As you inhale again, take your both hands up and bend your elbows into practice and spread your fingers out. Roll your shoulders back. Again, take your hands back. You can lock your fingers behind your back. And then drop your head down. Keep your spine straight. Reach your hands high and stretch out your shoulders. For three, keep your hips still on the floor. Two. And one, inhale again, take your hands high, over the ear, over the head, and then switch your arms. So this time your left arm, left arm would be on the top, so right arm would be at, at the bottom. And then again, drop your head down, hug your hands all the way in. Inhale, reach your hands high. Exhale, make a tight breathe with every exhalation when you're bending forward. Inhale again, reach up with your both hands. Exhale again, drop your head down, hump on your back, push your hip forward. Again, inhale, reach up with your hands. Grab your step more tight. And then exhale again, bend your head down. Again, inhale and then release your hands into the cactus. Three, two, and then. One. So from your right hand on your left knee, take your left hand up over the ear. You can also bend your elbow so that you can reach up from the elbow. So try to reach high from the elbow. Up for three, two, and one. Inhale again. Take your both hands high. Exhale on the other side. Grab your left hand, left knee. Sorry, right knee with the left hand, and then left knee bend to the left side. Keep stretching your arm. Push your spine out and then hold for three, two, and one. Inhale. Again, take your both hands up and then grab your elbows. Rotate your arms outward. Look up high to the ceiling and then start to move side to side. One. Go slow. Two. Let us move it out from the policy region. Three. Four and then five. Now switch your arms right down in front, left hand at the back. Again, move out to the side. Five, four, three, two, and then one. Raise your hands down. Now roll the shoulders up, back, and down. Now press your both hands on the floor for the tabletop. Now as you inhale, roll the shoulders back, lift your head up, make an arc in the back. Exhale, drop your head down, come on the back. Inhale, again lift your head up. Exhale, head down, hump on the back, push your head forward. Inhale, again lift your head up, very nice. Exhale, head down, hump on your back. One more time. Inhale, lift the head up. Reach high. So from here, lift your wrist off the floor. Come up on the center of your palm. So from here, just lift your wrist off the floor. And then look up high. For three, two, and one. Release your wrist down. And then exhale, drop your head down. Inhale again, come up. So from here again, lift your wrist off the floor, lift your head up, just look at here, and then reach high for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, drop your flatten your palms all the way down. Inhale again, lift your head up. One more time, make a nice arch in the back, lift your wrist off the floor, reach high for three. So from here you have what you have to do. 
Make your wrist just like this. Okay, Alida? Have you got it? It's very nice. I just don't wear this thing off the floor. <laughs> yes, you have to just lift just like this. Wrist. Uh, okay, wrist. wrist. Yes. Okay. Yeah, wrist. And then exhale again, head down. Again, inhale, lift your head up, lift your wrist off the floor, and then press your hands on the floor and then reach your hips high for the downward facing dog. Come up on the downward facing dog. Very nice. And then press your palms, jump front for the halfway look up. Again, completely bend forward, grab your knees, and then bend your elbows, lower your head down. You can also interlock your fingers or grab your elbows behind your leg. You can grab your elbows just like this and then drop your head down. And you start to swing forward and back. Go slow. Three. Two. And then one. Inhale, half to look up. Exhale, again, completely bend forward. Inhale, again, half to look up. Exhale, completely bend forward. Now you can bend your knees. Keep your both legs open according to the hip distance. Again, half to look up. And then exhale, again, bend down. Very nice. One more time. Inhale, half to look up. And then exhale, bend forward. For the last time, inhale, half to look up. And lock your fingers behind your back, roll your arms in, and then bend down. Just let your hands go down towards the gravity. Breathe in and exhale. Normalize the back. Just pressing your heels on the floor. With the next inhalation, all the way come up from the chair pose. Extend your arms up. Just pressing your heels, exhale, release the hands down, extend your legs again into the forward bend. Inhale, half look up, and then exhale, again bend forward. Inhale, again half look up, look in front, look in arms in your back, just use your maximum strength of the lower back, and you can bend your knees, take your hands forward, and then hold for three, two, you can also bend your knees, and then one, so take your hands back, interlock your fingers and find the balance on the right leg. Take your left leg back for the warrior C. Very nice. For three, just find the stability on the right leg. Two, and one. Release your both hands on the floor. Take your left leg all the way up for the standing split. And then start to keep up. One, two, three, Four, you give your body nice here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. For the last five, four, three, two, and one. Release your left leg down. Just again maintain the distance between the both legs according to the hip distance. Now take your left leg back. Sorry. Just stay here, interlock your finger behind your back, and then sit your body weight on your left leg. And then open up your chest for the warrior seat on your left leg. Find the balance for three. Very nice. Take your right leg back. Two. Good job. And then one. Exhale both hands on the floor, and then start to keep up high. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now release your both legs down. Inhale, half a look up. You must be tired with your legs. Just stay here for five more seconds. Inhale for the half a look up. And then exhale, grab your heels, drop your head down. 
inhale one more time half to look up press the palms and then jump back chaturanga inhale upward facing dog and then roll back to the downward facing dog release your knee down on the floor knees down rest in child pose and relax for a while Okay, now come up on the tabletop again. Inhale, lift your head up, make an arch on your back. Reach your head up, exhale, head down, hump on your back. Again, lift your head up, exhale, drop your head down, hump on your back. Inhale, lift your head up, exhale, head down, hump on your back. Inhale, head up. And then exhale. One more time. Inhale. Lift your head up. And then send your right leg up in the air from here. Send your right leg back. Yes. Send your right leg back. And grab your right leg with the left hand. Take your left hand back and grab. Yes. Grab your right leg with the left hand. Yes. And then pull your right leg up. Open up your chest. Find the balance on the right arm. Very nice. Four, five, <coughs> four, three, look up high to the ceiling. Two, stretching your right hand on the floor. And one, release your right arm, left hand down, release your right leg down. Again, inhale, lift your head up. Exhale, head down, hump on your back. Inhale, lift your head up. Exhale, head down, hump on your back. One more time, inhale, lift your head up. And then send your left leg back up in the air. Now send your left leg back. And then grab your left leg with your right hand. Yes. And then pull it up. Just keep pulling your left leg back. And then hold for five, look up high. Four, three, two, Find the stability and then one release your leg down, hands down, and then tuck the toes under, reach it inside for the downward facing dog. Now move back for the downward facing dog. Yes. Now press your palms on the floor, bend your knees, jump front for the half to look up. Yes. Exhale, completely bend down. Inhale, take your hands up over the head. Come up into the Tarasan or tree pose and then bend your knees for the chair pose. Yeah. Now join your hands together in front of your heart center and then put your right elbow on the left knee. Look up high to the ceiling. Push to your spine and then all the way look up high for three. Keep twisting. Two yeah, and one. Okay. Again, take your hands up, exhale on the other side, twist, and then look up high. For five, four, three, keep twisting, two, and one. Inhale back to the center, and then exhale both hands on the floor. The front here, press your hands, and then open it much more than hit it apart. Yes, so from here, now grab your left ankle with the right hand and then twist your spine, open high for five, let's keep twisting, four, if you cannot grab your right ankle, you can place your right hand down, three, two, 
And when exhale, release the both hands down. Inhale, half a little. Exhale, on the other side, grab your right ankle with the left hand. And then twist your spine all the way out. Now wrap your right hand behind your back. Look up high for three, two, and one. Exhale, both hands on the floor. Inhale, half a lift up. Exhale, completely bend down. So from here, grab your ankle with your both hands and then bend your head down. Keep your spine straight, reaching your head down towards the floor. Inhale, again, half a look up. Exhale, one more time, you'll do the same thing. Drop your right hand outside of your left leg and then wrap your left hand behind your back and then open your chest out. Keep your soul for three, two, and one. Exhale, both hands on the floor. Inhale, half a look up. Exhale on the other side. You grab your right ankle with the left hand. Inhale there. And then exhale, twist up. You can also wrap your right hand behind your back. You grab your left leg. Open up high. And then hold. One, two, three, four, and five. Inhale. And then exhale, release your both hands down. Inhale again, half a look up. And then exhale, press your palms, lift your heels off the floor, come up on your toes. Lift your heels, sit your body weight on your arms. And then exhale, release back. Again, inhale. And then exhale, press your hands, sit your body weight on your hands. Lift your heels. Exhale, release your heels down. Inhale again, lift your heels, press your hands. And then exhale. Inhale. And then exhale, push, and then release your knees out. Now press your palms, bend your knees, and jump back, Chaturanga Dhanasana. Press them back, Chaturanga Dhanasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, and then move back for the downward facing dog. Now take your right leg up in the air for the warrior A, and then step your right leg forward. Yes, arms up for the warrior A. Very nice. For three, two, and one. And from here, hook your left elbow on your right knee again. Push your spine out. Join your hands together. Open your chest up for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. Take your hands up. Exhale, hands on the floor. Then send the right leg again back for three leg down and facing down. So three leg down and facing down with the right leg. And then release your right leg down. Now take your left leg high. And then you step your left leg forward between your hands. Take your hands up for the wall. Three. Two and one. Hook your right elbow on your left knee. On your left knee. And then join your hands together. Look up high. Again, hold. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release your hands down. And then take your left leg back for the downward facing dog. Drop your knees down. Chest down, chin down on the floor. Inhale, swing yourself forward. Exhale, hold back for the downward facing dog. Now press your palms and release your arm for the half of the cup. Exhale, complete forward bend. So just keep trying. Inhale again, half the look up. And then exhale, complete forward bend. Inhale again, half the look up. Exhale, complete forward bend. 
Now one more time, inhale, half lift up. And then exhale, press your hands and jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Release your knees down on the floor and get into giant pose. Okay, now all the way come up into Vajrasana. Into this pose. So from here, take your right hand up over the head and then rotate your right hand from the bottom of your humerus bone or your uh, biceps or tricep and then rotate it inward. Just rotate your arm inward. Okay? Do not rotate it outward, rotate them in. And then take it all the way back, pull it back, and then bend your right elbow. All right. Just wrap your right hand behind your back and then interlock your fingers right here on the left side. Just like this. And then keep your left elbow in so that your shoulders will be depressed down. Look up high and then exhale, lower your head to the left side. Maybe you can make a semicircle from there. Look up, exhale to feel that stretch on the right side of your neck. Four, three, keep stretching your neck out. Two, one, slow down your breath. And then inhale, release your spine back to the neutral position, the left to the neutral position, and then this time the left hand. So rotate the left hand inward, take it all the way back, and then bring it close to your right side of the ribcage. Interlock your fingers together, and then lift your right elbow in, and then lift your head up and drop it down to the right side. And again, you can start to. Move your head up and down. One, two, three, four, five, five accounts, four, three. Two and one, then you bring it back to the center and then exhale, release your hands down. Just shake your hands, shake your hands. Just from here, bring your hands just like this in front, just like this in front, beside of the chest. And then from here, drop your head down. Take your hands out, bring your hands together in front. Inhale, open up the chest, bring your hands again into thumbs up position. Exhale, extend your arms out, make a big circle. Inhale, open up the chest, bring your hands again close to your chest. Exhale, again, rotate your arms outward and then roll them in. Inhale, open up the chest, reach high. Exhale, again, drop your head down. Make a big circle with your both hands. Bring your hands close to your chest. Exhale again. Swing your arms out. Open up your chest. Exhale. Option your arms out. Draw the head down. Inhale. Just squeeze right there when you're exhaling. Inhale. And then exhale. Again, open up your chest. Exhale. Option your arms forward. Inhale. Open up your chest. Exhale. Arms forward. Now one more time. Inhale, open up the chest. Exhale, extend your arms forward. And then release your hands down on the floor. Now from here, inhale, open up the chest. So just go to the wall side if you are near to the wall. 
so we are going to do a little soldier opening or a little back bend right there against the wall come up against the wall so from here if you need support so that it won't you won't have anything just take the one arm gap from the wall Can I come up on the position? Okay. Let's take the right hand back. So first, rotate your arms outward. First, rotate your arms outward and elevate them high. Just Anila, go to the wall, close to the wall. All right, and then take your right hand up. Then we'll drop our right right hand against the wall. Okay. Then take your left hand up again, rotate it outward, and then drop your left hand against the wall. Just try to open up the chest, keep your hands straight. If you cannot keep them straight, you can keep them bent too. But make sure you're pressing your both hands against the wall. Look in front for three, two, and one. With the next inhalation, push your hand, reach your hips, and then look in front. Exhale. Move it back. Go slow. Then rest. Now again, press your hand. Push your hip forward. Look in front. Exhale. Again, move back to the straight arm. Again, press your hands on the floor. Push your hip forward. Look in front. Exhale. Again, move it back. Very nice. Just like this, we we'll move for the three more times. One. Again, take your hands back. Press your hands, reach up. Exhale, again, move back. For the last few times, press your hands, and then reach up, push it forward. Exhale, move back. Now inhale, again, press your hands, reach up, push it forward. And then exhale, release back, and rest in time pose. Very nice. Okay, now from the child pose, again come up into Vajrasana. Okay, so from here, from Vajrasana, keep your hands into this position, like a, like a diamond with your index finger touch and thumb touch. Now press your hands on the floor, keep your index finger and thumb together, just like this, and then rotate your arms outward. Just eye of the inwards are facing towards the your towards your phone towards to the front and then rotate your arms outward and then lean forward keep leaning keep leaning keep leaning forward and then exhale move back inhale and then exhale again press your hands squeeze just press your reach on the floor inhale back to the center exhale again lean forward rotate your arms outward roll your shoulders back do not elevate them do not depress head down Rotate them outward. Very nice. Three. Two. Good job, Baggy. And then one. Just move back. Again, press your hands. Lean forward. Rotate your arms outward. Elevate your, not elevate your shoulders. Just depress them down and lift your head up. For three. Very long. Exhale again. Move back. So for the last time, press your hands. Again, lean forward, rotate your arms outward, and then hold for three, two, and one. Now release back, and then relax. Shake your hands. So from here, come up on the tabletop again. Come up onto this position. Now turn your palms out to the side. Now lean side to side. One, press your fingertips on the floor, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now press your palms and then send your legs back to the plank. Lower the chest down, check it under the muscle. Upward facing dog and then downward facing dog. And drop the knees down, rest in child pose. Just rest in child pose and relax. Okay, again, come up on the table top. Send your legs back to the plank. Yes. And then reach your hips high for the downward facing dog. So press your palms, then you will jump front for the half to look up. And then okay, downward facing dog. Sorry, uh, stay there, stay there, stay there. Take a forward bend. Inhale, half to look up again. And then exhale, complete forward bend. So from here, again, take your hands all the way up for the standing, uh, for the Tadasana or three poles. All the way come up. And then turn the palms high. Press your feet on the floor. Reach up. Keep it stretching. From here, again, open your legs more than hip it apart. And then lateral bend to the right side. Now let your bend to the right side, drop your right hand beside it to right foot and take your left hand up over the ear. Very nice. And stay there for a while. For five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale back to the center. Exhale. We will do from the other side, lateral bend. And then reach your hands up over the ear. One. Good job. Two. Three. Four. And five. Then we will back to the center. And then exhale. Completely bend forward, drop your head down. So from here, open the legs more than. Hit it apart, more than hit it apart. Now take your both hands in, just like this, and then press your hand, and then just bend your elbows, cross your legs, and then hold here for a while. All right? Just cross your legs, look in front. Good job. Cross, look in front, and without dropping your legs, try to drop your head down. Just Make a ball out of your body. Just make it more short, as short as possible. Drop your head down without dropping your neck. Inhale all the way come up. Exhale again, lift the head up. Very nice, just do like this. For five. Very nice everyone. Four. Three. Good job. Two. And one. And lose your neck down. From here, we will do throw pose. Come over to yogi spot position. Press your hands. Swing forward. Lift your toes off the floor. Look in front without make a hunch. And then exhale, move back. Join your hands together like this. Press your hands. Then swing forward. Lift your toes off the floor. Exhale, release back. Join your hands together. Again, press your palms. And then Swing forward and then hold for three, two, and one. Again, swing back. 
participants again to forward and to propose. And then jump back, Chaturanga the Nagar. Inhale, upward facing dog. And then downward facing dog. Now drop in his down, rest in child pose. Or you can swing your both legs forward, just lie down on it, lay down on your back. Just lay down on your back. So from here, when you're sitting in this position, you can make a hunch to avoid that arch on your back. All right, you can extend your arms forward, make a hunch, and then lower, your, lower back down. All right, just like this, and then you drop the head down so that you can avoid that uh, arch which comes on the lower back while when you are going to the sleeping position. All right, we'll do just like this and lie down on your lay down on the back and then hold for a while. Just relax your mind, catch your breath. So from here we do solar strength. Solar strength. So take your both legs up and then interlock it. Just hold your lower back and take your leg high. One, two, three. And then five. So bend your leg into me. Lower your right leg down. And then left leg down into Halasan or Plow pose. Interlock your fingers behind your back. Lower your hands down. And then again hold for five. Four. Three. Two. And then again. Get yeah, the lower back with the both hands, keep the legs straight over the head. Exhale slowly and see. Lower your thighs even down, the lumbar even down on your hips. And then again, so that's a straight. Sorry, it's more than a lay down on, on the lower back. Just continue your breath for a while. Take a few moments here. Now, touch your thighs, roll over your back. Step three, stop and roll. Two, and one. All the way forward and take up straight on the mat. Just like this. Now, cross your legs. Sit in any comfortable pose that you like. Make any mudra that you prefer for yourself. Now we will finish our class with one ohm followed by three shanti. Take a deep breath in. Turn your hands together in front of the heart center. Then go your head down to the back. Then open your eyes while blinking. And then let's get the idea. Thank you so much for joining me here. Any question that you have, you can ask me right now.
Thank you. You're welcome. So, anything that you want to ask about any question, you can ask now. So, we have got five minutes here. When we so were how doing. How long have you been doing that? Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. When we were doing with the hands behind us on the wall, is that for a, a back bend prep? Like a wheel yes, pose? Yes, it yeah. bend. It's, it's, it's more like a, that uh, camel pose. So okay. this was that preparation for to open your arms. Okay, thanks. So that is quite intense too. Yes. Uh, so when we were doing the pose, when we kept both the hands on the floor and uh, both the legs were um, around it, so crossing the hands, and we we were forward on the hands. Okay? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so uh, for that, I was not able to take weight uh, on my hand. So what should I do to improve? So the technique of this doing this posture is to like bend your elbows outside. If you're bending your elbows inward, so it's going to be quite hard. So what you have to do when you're taking your hands back, so to always take your hands further out than your legs. All right. And then bend your elbows to the side. If you're bending elbows to in, it's going to be a bit harder than bending the elbows outside. All right. So we bend so our elbows find... out and balance yes. our body on the elbow. Yes, on the elbow. The legs are going to find the balance on the elbow. All right. Then what you have to do? Slightly lean forward and press your fingertips also. So what happens when you're doing arm balancing, whether you're doing pro pose or any pose on your arms, you have to always shift your body weight on your fingertips. If you're not pressing your fingertips, you will you lose your balance. Just press your fingertips also at the same time when you want to find the balance. So let's suppose you're doing crow pose without pressing your fingertips. Let's suppose here. So my fingertips are lifted and then I'm going to lose my balance until unless I, must, I press my fingertips. Just try to push your fingertips then it's going to be easier. So have you anything else that you want to ask? So Regarding we try the pose where we are on our feet and we have to put our head on the floor though, I find that, and I think it's a core issue though, because I find that then I have a pressure on, on my neck when I try yeah. to put it down because I feel like all the way yeah. to the head. Okay, you're not having that pressure on your cervical region on your neck. Just, yeah, just right here. Because you know we're moving forward with our legs crossed okay. over, and all the weight goes on. So then there is that kind of pressure to so, a, to so, avoid. Yeah. So were you dropping your head all the way down, just like uh, shifting the body weight on your head? So it should be like not shifted on your head. It should be always on your hands. Was that lucky? So ideally, it's only like head? the. Yes, you have to just touch. This will be only for the slight support. Touch and then get that. If it is still hurting, it means like you have like uh, you maybe do not have the strength on your neck. Mm. Right? So, so we'll work on that too. So mainly what happens when you have cervical vision problem, so you have a lot of stiffness on your this region, right? Because these muscles are going to get stiff. You do not have usually stretch right there. So the neck stretch is also like better in order to have like prevent this pain. All right, thank you. So every day the class is at six thirty or six. No, six thirty. It's six to seven. Okay, then see you. Bye bye. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the evening. Bye bye. Bye. bye.